Hello and welcome. Today we are going to take a closer look at a vacuum discharge tube with various gases. For that we need our discharge tube with two electrodes in it. They are both connected to the high voltage transformer. On one side we have a few high voltage diodes like this. These are the ones used here. So we get a DC current flowing through the tube. On one side of the tube there's a bottle of gas connected, so we can take a look at various gases. On the other side there's an oil pump to generate a vacuum that goes down to the sub millibar range, so it is good enough and we can look at the vacuum here. The voltage we use for this is about 10 kV. So not that much, it is enough to get what we want. In the vacuum discharge tube we have a cathode and an anode. Between them is a voltage of about 10 kV. In the cathode we get a little glowing area that is called a negative glow area. Then we go to a dark space, it's the Faraday dark space where nothing glows. Then we get to the positive column that glows in a color that depends on the gas inside the tube. But this column doesn't glow uniformly. You see layers that glow, then a dark layer and so on. In short, this is because the electrons get accelerated from the cathode. If they have enough energy, they can excite the gas atoms inside the tube. Then this gas atom emits light and the electron slows down. So here we have this glowing layer. After the electron slows down, it doesn't have enough energy to excite another atom. So we get this dark layer. Then the electric field in the tube accelerates the electron again. And when it has enough energy to excite another atom, we get this glowing layer again. And this phenomenon repeats again and again until the electrons reach the anode. First we have a tube filled with air. You clearly can see the bright negative glow area on the cathode and the positive column that has layers. And here we see other gas fillings in the tube. First we use argon, then carbon dioxide, then helium, and then water. You can clearly see all the plasmas have a different color and also the structure of the positive column is different from each gas. 